Thank you very much indeed, uh, Jazz. And we want to quickly race on to the Olympics because you know what? That starts as well, as well as the football this week. And I've been to meet a boxer who's hoping to do Birmingham proud. The 2016 Team GB Olympic Boxing Squad. And there's a familiar name with an unfamiliar face. And I'm not talking about this guy. That's Muhammad Ali. With a name like that, he already has lots to live up to. Equally, I'm not referring to 2012 Olympic champion Nicola Adams. No doubt she'll still be smiling if she can get another gold. But instead, it's this man I've come to meet. Light flyweight Gamal Yafai. For the last six years, yeah, all, I've, all I've ever wanted to do is go to Olympic Games and up until a few months ago, it wasn't. I didn't think it was possible. Away from Team GB's training base at Sheffield, I joined Gamal at his real sporting home, the Birmingham City Boxing Academy. And it's here where the familiarity of his surname becomes apparent. Displayed proudly on the wall, an image of his brother Khalid Yafa. He went to the 2008 Olympics. What's he said to you? He just told me just to just to enjoy the experience and just um, obviously just do as best as I can, yeah. And do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that top medal could be yours? Of course, yeah. I'm 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 my dad. I'm one of the best in the world, if not the best in the world. And I've just got I've just got to give it my best. I've trained hard now. I've got the last few weeks now. I've just got to just put the work in. And yeah, of course, it's realistic. I can I can win a gold medal, yeah. <laughs> This modest boxing gym has produced some of the sport's biggest names. So it should perhaps be no surprise that one of them, Rob McCracken, who coached Carl Froch to world titles, is the performance director of British Boxing. You know, we're going there confident, but understanding it's a tough task. And, you know, our job is to get them out there, prepare them and, and try and get some medals on the table. And hopefully we can get some up on the, uh, up on the wall like we did after London. <laughs> But what of the man who shaped Gamal into the boxer he now is? Franco Sullivan has been running this club at various locations in Birmingham since, wait for it, 1956. For 60 years, boxers have come and gone, but he saw a special talent in Gamal right from the beginning. And when Gamal considered quitting boxing to focus on a career with Land Rover, Frank was the man who told him not to give up on his Olympic dream. Ten years down the line, you don't want to be sort of looking back and thinking, well, should I have stopped or should I have carried on? I said, really, from my point of view, you're quite capable of, of making the Olympic squad. And can you believe you almost stopped and look where you are now? I know, yeah, it's just, it just shows um, just a bit of dedication. It can, it can take you very far, yeah. And what sound advice it proved to be. In March this year, Gamal took the Commonwealth Super Bantamweight title and now he has the chance to become an Olympic champion. And he also beat Josh Whale at the weekend. What a great setup that is ahead of the Olympic Games. They start this weekend, so does the football season and Wolves have only just got their new head coach. It's going to be thrilling and we'll be building up all week as the excitement mounts. You're going to have a busy time, aren't you, Steve? For now, thank you very much. Yes. Now we know.